Well, hello. It is Friday, October 29th, 2021, and this is Thoughts from the Word. Hello and welcome back to Thoughts from the Word. Forgive me for being dressed down today. It's uh, rainy and dreary out and uh, most of my day is going to be spent studying and I just did not feel like uh, uh, putting on anything more than some sweats today. So I can still read the Lord's Word with sweats and so that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at 1 Peter 5 verse 6. So if you have your Bibles, turn there. 1 Peter 5 verse 6. Let's finish out the week looking at this verse uh, and setting our eyes upon the Lord. Hear now the word of the Lord. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Amen. Well, Peter in this passage is wrapping up his letter to the church uh, to the saints of Jesus Christ, and he's giving them some practical application for their lives, how we are to walk. And, and in this verse, he's focusing on our humility. Now, when he's talking about, when we talk about humility in this respect, we're not talking about setting ourselves out to be a doormat and allowing people to walk all over us, but he's speaking back to what we've talk, been talking about, about putting the Lord first humbling ourselves, thus taking away what we desire, uh, mortifying what we want, mortifying our thoughts, and putting our thoughts onto God. He says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God. We are to put ourselves under his authority and under his control that the Lord, through Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit, is at work in us, making us more and more like him, as our, our catechism says, that we are to become uh, more and more like him. And we can't do that if we're constantly resisting and imposing our will and our determination and our, our desires uh, upon that process. We are to acknowledge and, and submit ourselves to God in such a way that we are acknowledging that he is Lord and King over us and that we are but humble servants serving him for the glory of God. So why do we do that then? He, we then read, so that at the proper time he may exalt you. We do so so that at that proper time we may be brought into glory. We all will be stand before him in judgment, and in that final day, uh, there will be those who will be raised in the glory and those who will not. In the, in the Gospels, he uses the illustration of the sheep and the goats, and some he will cast away and say, depart from me, I, I do not know you. But others he wel will welcome into the kingdom, and we will receive the fullness of the glory of God. We will receive the fullness of that exaltation. We will ultimately be exalted in God through Christ if we humble ourselves, if we renounce our own desires and thoughts and will in order to serve him. It sounds complicated and it sounds hard, but it's uh, simply each day acknowledging, Lord, I am in your hands. Take control today. Guide me. Give me the words to say. Give me the thoughts to think. Do what you need to do in me that I may glorify you today. Sounds, uh, again, sounds difficult, but it's really not that difficult. Now, Thomas Brooks, Puritan writer, wrote on this particular verse these words. The humble soul endeavors more, more how to glorify God in afflictions than how to get out of them. Daniel the three children, the apostles, and those worthies of whom this world was not worthy were such. They were not seeking to get out of their afflictions, but were concerned for the glory of God. They were willing to be anything and bear anything that God might be glorified. They made it their business to glorify God in the fire, prison, den, rack, and under the sword. The humble soul says, Lord, keep down my sins and keep up my heart to, to honor you in all my troubles. Though my burdens are doubled and troubles multiplied, help me to honor you by trusting, waiting, and submitting to you. And I shall sing my cares away and say, it is enough. 
Oh, but when a proud man under troubles is full of plans to get off his chains and out of the furnace, the proud heart will say anything, do anything, and be anything to free himself from the burdens that press him. A little will satisfy the humble soul, but nothing will satisfy the proud man's lusts. The humble says, Lord, give me bread and clothing and you shall be my God. Give me much of Christ and heaven in my heart and food to food convenient to support any my, to support my natural life and it is enough. The proud are never content. A crown did not content Ahab, but he must have Naboth's vineyard. Diogenes was more was more content with his tub to shelter him and a wooden dish to eat in than Alexander had with the conquest of half the world and all the treasures, pleasures, and glories of Asia. A humble soul is more content with Daniel's vegetables than proud princes are with crowns and golden scepters. The humble soul also rejoices in the graces and accomplishments of others as well as in its own. There is no envy in spiritual things. Well, again, uh, we are to seek to be humble before God that he will in that final day exalt us, not for our glory, but for his. Pray about that today and, and, and be humbled. Uh, as we go into this weekend, I just want to remind you that Sunday is Reformation Sunday, the anniversary of and celebration of uh, Martin Luther's posting of the 95 Theses on the door of Wittenberg Chapel. We invite you to come and join us for worship as we celebrate that day and we hear of one of the great truths that Martin Luther proclaimed that changed the church forever. I pray that you'd come and join us on Sunday. If you're unable to be there in person, uh, you can watch the live stream. Uh, you can subscribe to our, our channel and you would get uh, see a notification about that. We'd, we'd love to have you in person, though. We start at 1050 a.m. We're located at 3229 McDonald Road in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Thank you for being with us today. I look forward to seeing you again on Monday as we gather together for some thoughts from the Word.